and you both like. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome hello. to another River Horse newsletter, news stream even, where we're going to go through the quickly through the newsletter and then we're going to play some Pacific Rim. Can't wait. <laughs> right, uh, straight into Pacific, into, into the newsletter. So, um, for anyone wondering, I teleported in before the stream started this session. Oh yeah, because we did uh, teleportation <laughs> special effects. No, not, not special effects, I'm afraid, this time. Um, so the, probably the, the newsletter begins with a big announcement that uh, we have a new PDF. Oh, sorry, the PDF is for Pony... Pony document format? Pony document format. Pony <laughs> document format, that's one. one a PDF, then, of, uh, of Filicide Follies, which is the new uh, one of the latest supplement for Frontiers of the Quester. So if, you're, if you like uh, digital PDFs, you can head on to the drive through RPG and purchase it. Or more likely, if you like My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, PDFs. Just any PDF. <laughs> if you're a fan of PDFs, <laughs> you'll love this. <laughs> I meant it as in pony document uh, format. Yes, that's, that's clearly what I meant. <laughs> right. Uh, after that, uh, there's a, we reveal another uh, five cards, in this case, of our Labyrinth uh, card game. And this particular case is the one of the minor suits. Is the, the suit of owls. And the owl suit, in this case, is made of four face cards uh, from Jack, Chevalier, Cavalier, Queen, Knight, and also the Ace there as well. So you, you can see a, a little bit of the, well, the, well, the the face cards look. And we'll reveal more face cards for other, from other suits later, and we'll, we'll switch between those and the, and the major suit of Labyrinth. So if you go to there's a gallery on Facebook where you can see all of them at the same time. So after that, oh, ha ha ha, Jennifer Brozak, and uh, so we had an interview with her, and uh, uh, basically she she wrote one on the scene our uh, labyrinth uh, adventure game, which is coming soon, and she actually has some very very interesting things to share in her interview about uh, about writing that uh, writing that story. So anything else you want to add about that? Um, only that it so her scene is the um, the oubliette in the uh, in the stone walls part of the the labyrinth, so it's quite an um, distinctive, iconic scene from the uh, from the story, and uh, yeah, it's it's just a fun like nod to the to the world, and uh, I think the the take on it, the sort of riddles and stuff, is is really cool. I thought the, one of the main points that she makes that I really loved, and maybe because again having a, a young daughter, is that she says the labyrinth for her was so important when she saw it when she was growing up, because it's one of the first stories that she actually saw where. Where the the main character, uh, the girl, mm. doesn't get rescued. In fact, she, she takes control. Rescue. She rescues herself, and she states very strongly. She confronts the bad guy and states in very clear words, "You have no power over me." Which is, again, yeah, younger growing up, that's a very strong thing. And actually, you know, I, I love that comment. And yeah, it's very very cool. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so, and after that. Of, uh, speaking of speaking uh, of young girls, and uh, there's a um, the first I think is this is the first one, isn't it? That uh, we yeah. Have. yeah. So uh, why don't you? Talk well, about uh, that? this is the uh, so the creature feature that we do every week, uh, where we introduce a new or we revisit an old um, creature from My Little Pony. And if you'd like to be a part of the creature feature, you can send in your own designs and uh, we will see if we can uh, make them happen. And this is actually one of those designs sent in by Luna, aged 11, so thank you very much, Luna. And uh, this, <laughs> this is the Octo Celine, um, a, um, I was going to say a, a cheesy, but uh, I mean that very literally. Literally, literally. <laughs> literally cheesy. Um, so a sort of uh, octopus who fires lasers out of these uh, these moon orbs out of uh, its its head, and uh, <laughs> I love the I love the the monster creation uh, that you get when sort of someone's sort of passionate about it and definitely um, uh, younger uh, because there's the um, the note of uh, if if made into sushi, <laughs> it's uh, very cheesy. Uh, which I love that sort of that touch. Um, Tastes cheesy, of cheese. Yeah, cheesy sushi. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that uh, has been uh, redrawn by our in-house artist and uh, sort of uh, made into a um, a creature that you can use in your My Little Pony Tales of Equestria games. So thank you very much, Luna. That was very exciting to see. And then we have the comic by Caesar here that uh, again features Boy and George this time in the. 
great discoveries or invention, really, where we create this new new file format that never existed. We have a question. We have a question. Ooh, just to de derail your thing. Uh, how many Jaegers and Kaiju are planned? And how many happen spontaneously? Well, in <laughs> I assume um, in total? Planned, I suppose if it's about waves, wave one, which is the one that is arriving now in, uh, in port, is made of a starter set, which has one Jaeger, one Kaiju. And two more, two more expansion boxes per side. So, in, when all the wave one is in your hands, then you would have three Jaegers and three Kaijus. So that's the wave one. The following waves, I think I don't remember eight exactly. Eight and nine. So something like that, yeah. So on average of so. eight point five <laughs> per wave. <laughs> so uh, the maths has come in. I think that's a total of about twenty-three. Something like that, yeah. Twenty-three well, years. Uh, and the exclusive uh, Gypsy Adventure of the Two Swords. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I hope that, that answers your question. <laughs> okay. Um, then, uh, sorry, after, after the comic, completely sidetracked, after the comic, uh, we have a review of, created by, by you guys out there, so thank you for doing those, they're great. And if they're not great, we don't publish them, so haha. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, um, the, the, the guy is going through um, Dark Crystal, and he's actually making a review of the Dark Crystal board game, uh, which uh, is not a long review from what I remember, because I have watched so many of these, but um, it's, uh, it's very interesting, so do please have a look and uh, see what you think. And if you have your own content to uh, uh, share, feel free to send that in. Uh, what's next? Next is actually announcing that we're about to play a Pacific Rim, a few turns. I don't know whether we'll get an entire turn there, but uh, about an hour of Pacific Rim. Uh, and, <laughs> and then you can also watch our previous uh, our, there's a link there to the to the previous uh, play, uh, the news, news uh, live stream where we uh, where we played uh, the the Hunger Games board game as well. I won <laughs> after <laughs> two hours, a very hard fight. Yes, yes, I had to finally concede on the very last roll of last the very roll, last, the very last turn. turn. <laughs> the yes. capital remains in control. And. So, and after that, it's just about the list of pre-orders, all the coming things. So the Labyrinth RPG, Ogres and Oblivion for Tales of the Quest, we have the Hunger Games, the Labyrinth Card Game, and Pacific Rim. Indeed. <laughs> and I think that's enough of uh, exciting news. Shall we yes. dive into monsters oh. and robots punching each other into oblivion? Sounds like a plan. Okay. So. Um, so, gosh, need to remember how to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the problem with developing games is you're, when you're working, when you're showing off things that arrive, this is like six months, long time after you actually finish designing them and you're now designing the next games that are going to come in six months. So your brain goes, woo, back to six months ago when this was done. And then of course, you know, when they get out in the world and we organize events and stuff, we'll get expert veterans well, of this. Um, so we have set up the game uh, already. We've chosen our sides, we've chosen our Jaegers, we've chosen our Kaijus. And uh, pilots and upgrades and everything already to sort of dive straight into the action. Uh, and so yes, I, I picked everything from way one, of course. Uh, I used the two models in the starter set. So we have Gypsy Avenger and, and Shrike Thorn on the, on the Kaiju side, I me. Mean. And uh, thank you. Um, and checkers. Oh, I have uh, Saber Athena, fastest in the fleet, and Gypsy Avenger. Um, the uh, with its gravity sling. Her gravity sling. Her, you her refer her to the ships. Yeah. And so, yeah, we've um, set these up. And the way a game of Pacific Rim works is uh, we have uh, a few turns to basically our uh, currently playing the final stand, uh, which has no special rules, um, but sort of brings out all of the buildings. So the kaiju get uh, points for destroying buildings and for destroying Jaegers. If either side manages to knock out the other side completely, they win the game. And also, we have a couple of sort of extra points that are that are happening. Um, which I'm almost certain won't come up on this camera, so I'll read it out for you. Uh, Jaeger score the following bonus points: two extra victory points per building intact, and Kaiju score two extra victory points per building destroyed. So in this game, buildings are extra important, uh, whereas killing Ye um, destroying Jaegers and killing Kaiju less so. Uh, but unless you kill them, wipe out. <laughs> unless you kill them. But, um, <laughs> Uh, Jaegers and Kaiju have a sort of few uh, important uh, qualities. Uh, they have stats 
on their uh, on their stat sheets, <coughs> which you can see here. And uh, so each Jaeger has speed, how fast it can move, skill, which is sort of an overall helpful thing for, for a lot of stuff. Uh, but if you get attacked from behind, you can't use your skill to defend. Um, they also have power and uh, armor, which sort of attack and defense. Uh, each Jaeger also, and each Kaju, has a hand of six action cards, unique to every single Kaju and Jaeger. Um, so, for example, for Saber Athena, she has an N16 particle charger, twin plasma swords, lightning speed, 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 <laughs> uh, flying knee, deep drift, and power surge. And uh, so these give the each kaiju, each Jaeger, a really unique feel, really unique uh, way of playing the game. Um, and those are your actions. Those are how you choose sort of what you do. They're also your damage. So whenever you take damage, you lose these cards out of your hand and uh, they get discarded for the rest of the game. And that's signifying, you know, your particle charger being ripped off your arm um, and uh, physically destroyed. So as you play, as you get damaged, you're gonna lose some of these options and maybe make some, uh, some sacrifices as you play. Each turn starts with uh, both players choosing what they want their characters to do. Um, yes, so I was actually looking at that, uh, that while, while Jack was talking, but uh, before we start, let's just say, basically, we've, we, have, we have the beginning of turn one. Uh, the, the Jaegers have deployed first, this is the last time, so they deploy it near the center, in this case back to back, surrounded by buildings, and the Kajus then turn up. So I had the advantage of deploying second and placing my Kajus either on all on one side, short side, or all on the other short side, or, or both. What I decided to do was to split them, so that now I have uh, Hakuja on that side, and as destroying buildings is fairly important, uh, you can probably guess what I uh, was thinking <laughs> yeah. of doing straight away there. And on the other hand, I have Shrikon here that may choose to actually attack buildings or perhaps go for the Jaeger, so I left it in a kind of a position where he can choose. Uh, I think now is the time to choose our yeah. uh, um, So I've already chosen the one for Hakuja. Very obvious. <laughs> and I'm a little bit more not unsure about the about the Shrek for one because he's definitely. Hmm. Can you read me aloud my defense <laughs> mutation? So, um, your defense mutation for Shrek form is deafening roar. Whenever you gain rage from the rage action card, roll a combat die. If you roll a trigger, you may uh, force one Jaeger within short range to return a face up action card to his hand. That's the thing I wanted to read, was the short range, so how far away I could force the ability. Yeah, I can't hear you from the way of it. <laughs> if I could but you can move. rage here, yeah, if I could rage here, now uh, I couldn't, but indeed I'd get to move before doing that, which means I could possibly get into range. Raging allows me to normally uh, get also my, uh, bring the rage counter up to the full, so actually, that's an interesting option. So, uh, Jaegers and Kaiju have sort of two... Um, uh, reserves. Um, Jaegers have ammo and charge, so charge is sort of uh, a reusable uh, thing that sort of goes up and down throughout the fight. Ammo is once you've lost it, it's lost. And that sort of missiles, um, like extra special attacks, that sort of thing, whereas charge is sort of more um, plentiful. Uh, Kaiju have Rage and Kaiju Blue, which uh, serves a similar function for the Kaiju. So have you chosen your uh, Yes, and I'd like to point out that when I pick the mutations, because at the beginning you can customize your models, so I picked the Attack and Defense mutation for my models, uh, and obviously I can pick anything from the starter set or any of the sets, that, or any of the expansions I have here, so we have the Shrike Thorn, sorry, the, the Hakuja expansion as well. And I went for Hakuja, simple, I just make him stronger and tougher. <laughs> so basically armor plates are very strong, so he is simple. Well actually Shrike Thorn is a bit nippy, he's got more options, he's got a range attack, so I thought I went for something a bit more clever. So I made him accurate, you will see what that means in a yeah. second. And the other thing is I allowed me to use the rage ability. Uh, to get a, effectively an attack on rage, when I, when I rage at least there's a chance that my, my, my scream is so powerful that I will affect one of the enemies, which normally I think it's a great, great combo because it means that one of your abilities normally is not doesn't cause an, an attack. You can actually gain the benefit from the, your ability and cause an attack. Not a powerful attack, to be fair, but it, it could be very powerful well, at the right time. A, a at big. the right time, it could be fantastic. So, all right, shall we reveal what we've got? Yes. So, Saber Athena is going to fire her N16 particle charger. Yeah. 
Gypsy Danger is uh, going to have a go with his gravity sling. A gravity sling, okay. Akuja. Akuja, obviously, uh, being that he's next to a building, he thought he was going to go for sea strike. So basically, focuses on taking down buildings. He's very good at that. He's an underground dweller, so he is very good at uh, destroying buildings. And of course, the, one of the reasons, I mean, I did pick this for uh, for Shrek, not just because of the tactical advantages, right. but also because the the rage, the rage card for me equals the, <coughs> the Godzilla rage <laughs> sound. I wish I could do it, but the thing, but that sound, the Godzilla, yeah, no. <laughs> very tiny. Just want to give a bazooki there. <laughs> the tiny. So Godzilla scream. That's, that's, we declare what we're going to do this turn. Okay, so, um, usually it's the person with the most Kaiju or Jaegers um, on board that rolls first, or chooses who rolls first. I um, remember, we can check. When, when the kind of comes after I kill one of your Jaegers, yeah. we'll, we'll check. And, uh, more importantly, now I will roll but this. Because he's Kaiju. Okay, so Kaiju go first, yes. In, 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 in draws, Kaiju go first. Uh, the... This dice, the activation dice, will, the, the input dice rather, will tell me how many of my models can activate. From a maximum of two, which is unlikely, to a normal result of one, to possibly even a zero, which is be, will be unfortunate. And if you don't like what you rolled, you can use a leadership token, uh, which you have one of each, to uh, re-roll and have another go. And that's once per game. And my, per leader, game. my leader is, which one I chose to be the leader? Hakuja. Uh, Hakuja. Hakuja I chose to be the leader because it's tougher and more difficult to kill, so hopefully it will last longer. And which one is your leader? Uh, that's Gypsy Avenger. Gypsy course. Avenger is the leader. Okay, so I, it, it'd be nicer to kill him before he gets to use his ability, his, uh, his leader ability. Also, leaders are important in some scenarios where you have to kill them. Anyway. <laughs> ah, so now I could choose. I rolled a zero. So I could choose to use my, uh, my roll ability, but at this stage of the game, where we're far away, I think is not quite as vital. So I choose right. not to. While, he, while Jack gets the normal result, and now it has to activate one of these models. Oh, I think I'm going to go for Saber of Fina. Mm -hmm. mm. I should have just picked up this object, actually. Have you got the um, yep. hex gauge? Hex gauge there. So, uh, so, so first you move. You get a move uh, yeah. over auto speed. Uh, she has. She's pretty swift. Faster than the fluid. <laughs> speed of four. So she can go up to four. Anywhere. Can get a get a look at you just there. So Can you just try and fight in the middle of where we set the current. Yeah, she's not gonna move too far. Don't worry, I'm gonna <laughs> use my range. To, <laughs> so the camera guy not wanting us to <laughs> get out of shot too much. Um, and uh, yeah, so we can use that as an excuse if uh, one <laughs> loses the game. But <laughs> this is actually better for me as well. Um, so I'm gonna take a shot. So the N16 particle charger costs an ammo to use, uh, so I just moved the ammo counter down. She only has two shots of this. Um, and it's a ranged attack using her power, which is four, and her skill, which is three, but because she's got um, a couple of pilots who are pretty um, close, she gets an extra skill on top of that. So they're good at, uh, moderately good at uh, yeah. drifting together, yeah, so they get a plus one. Plus, uh, one, plus one's pretty standard. Oh, um, and as you said, you only have two shots. Of course, in some scenarios... Ah, and I'm also at long range. You're at long um, range. So I lose two, two dice as well. Oh, I thought you were at close range. That's good news. Uh, I was saying that the, the ammunition can be replenished in some scenarios where there's a uh, where there's a base, a military base next to you, and you can go next to them and replenish your, arm, your, your ammunition. Going, right, I'll have some of those, <laughs> those shells. Right, uh, what's the armor and skill of... Um, so you are three and five, so you're on eight. So I only have six dice. Three and eight. Five. Okay. It's a bit of a long shot for me, but you never know. It's a long shot, it's a long range shot. <laughs> but, uh, you've also got uh, armor plated skin. I do. Which uh, is going to help you out. Oh, I don't think three is going to do it. So you um, total three successes. Uh, yeah, I, I rolled a trigger, so I could spend one charge to gain plus one success. Uh, I think I might see what you've got. Okay. I shall roll my defense. What do I have? I have one success, one success, one success, and explosive. <laughs> Great success, so actually I'll roll again the dice and get nothing. And two triggers because of the armor plating, yeah. which is a mutation, I have chosen for one trigger gives me. Uh, one trigger gives you plus one success. Yeah. But no, no, so no, my total defense is a five. 
So um, if you wanted to push your luck, it wouldn't do much. Yeah, it's not. Um, really so yeah, it was a long shot, but um, so you basically fire shot bounces off my armor, uh, and I discard the card back into my hand, which is convenient because now we know that that model has activated. Indeed. So if I can activate now. I would love to activate Shrekton and try to do something to, yeah, really to nice. Gypsy Avenger before he gets to do anything. And no. <laughs> Clearly I wanted to wait and see what you were doing. Uh, but, uh, so I can activate Gypsy Avenger here. Um, so the thing about Jaegers as well is when they move, they have to move then pivot. So they're quite uh, unwieldy. I don't think I'm actually going to get into range. So I was really hoping you'd come forward so I could uh, take a shot at you. But, um, I'm lucky. Yeah, I, I suppose you could use your... Um, I could use my leadership and hope to roll. roll. That, that wouldn't be... Mm. I don't even know if that's a lot of other rolls. We'll have to read. So, <laughs> so I'm going to... In fact, I'm going to do a half pivot. So this device allows you to um, sort of take a, take a full hex pivot or just a little one. So your move is just a half pivot, basically. The half pivot, this is a short range attack, so I couldn't attack even if I wanted to. Uh, but I don't spend the ammo. I don't ah, the ammo. I thought uh, it's a limited to short range, the greatest thing I see. That was good. But actually, in this case, I'm very glad you went first. Yes. As I said, I mean, it's tempting to use your, your leader reroll just straight away to get it, but actually, in some cases, you don't really want to. So you have to save it for the right moment when it's really important. Right, now there is no point in me rolling this because the enemy is yeah, gone, so I can go. activate whatever I like. Let's begin with, uh, with Shrekton. Shrekton now has to make the call. Am I going for Jaegers or am I going for Buildings? And Buildings are worth even more in this game, in this particular scenario with the Destruction Mission. However, disabling enemies is always very tempting. What's yeah. the Shrekton's move, please? Uh, Shrekton's move is three. Okay. Kaijus are more uh, maneuverable than Jaegers, so they can they can pivot before or after the move. Uh, I don't think, as I'm going for the Jaegers, I don't think I need to pivot at all. Uh, therefore, sorry, did you say speed? Three. Three, thank you. So speed three. I will advance. Track down. One, two, three. So I advance, stomp over, by, by the way, a built up area. Yeah. <laughs> this is a piece of terrain that I cannot run across. Actually, sorry, can I just can't run across, but yeah, I just cannot can't run across them. Um, okay, so I advance, then I execute my card. My card is Rage, which means I can either run or I could, or can I uh, gain full rage would be my, my point, so I will rage. Therefore, if you can bring my rage counter up to maximum. And because of my special mutation. Yeah, you can roll the combat die. And what I'm looking for? Um, you're looking for a trigger, although. Because at, this, already at this point, at this point, it wouldn't be that yeah. much. So it's um, only effective if, if, you, if, if I go before it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fair enough. I just get my rage on then. Okay, and then Hakuja. Hakuja will execute his move, to. which is ram into the building. So, so whenever you sort of move into a hex, you sort of clip in. Um, so you're hex to hex. Yeah, these are uh, invisible hexes on the map. <laughs> so, so six strike. So it's a melee attack, and before attacking, you may spend one rage to gain plus one power for the attack, or plus four power if the attack is against a building. I might just do that. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> as if you planned it. So um, if you take my rage down by one. Yeah. Um, so if you destroy a building, you also gain a rage. So. Assuming you destroy this thing, you'll actually uh, come right, out. Right, so what's my attack? Uh, so, your attack is 3 and 3, so 6. 3 plus 3, but he also has the... He also has plus strength. 4. Plus 4 from the, from the siege strike. And if you roll a um, trigger, then uh, you'll gain plus 1. That's from my other mutation, the Kaiju yeah. Strength. How many? What's the defense of the building? 5. So, so if you lose this, it's going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> I cannot possibly lose this. So, is it allowed? So, uh, with these dice, uh, the stars are successes. The um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, really. Uh, you you can see what I can see on this camera. But, um, you can see how lots of shots all your yeah. monsters are. <laughs> um, the uh, explosions are rerolls, but you get to roll an extra die. The exclamation marks are triggers. But, um, and, uh, yeah, so. Uh, I've got three here. You've got three. Uh, okay, I rolled and I got one, two, three normal results, a explosive result, so I'll reroll that and get another result. So I have now five. Also, I have a trigger, 
which because of my casual strength mutation is another success. So I got six successes. <laughs> so the building explodes. I walk you, right through it. Also choose to I, step into I can space. choose to occupy the space and I will. You can remove the tile actually after yeah. I step in. You don't need that tile anymore. Err, <laughs> see strike. And get back on the strike. Set. Yes. And you can actually take that as a reference. Thank you. Yes, the count. I can use that as counting how many buildings we have destroyed. Um, okay. Okay, and that is the end of turn one. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of a turn, you move the turn counter to the next turn and you. Keep going. Uh, once you get to the end of turn three... Can you bring my rage up by one, please? Ah, yes, of course. Um, at the end of turn three, uh, you start uh, rolling to see if the game ends. Um, but not yet. But not yet. So basically at the moment, we managed to kill a building, which is good. The game continues. <laughs> okay. So really, sorry, strategy-wise, for me, would be either concentrate on the on the buildings and just score lots of points on buildings, so that basically, because every time you kill a building, you earn points and they lose points. So I could just kind of ignore the Jaegers really and try to win on points, hoping that the game ends before they kill me. But I have destroyed the city, so yes, they killed the Kaijus, but the city's dead. I count that as a victory for, for the Kaijus, as long as there's a Kaiju alive. That's the thing at the end. So that's my thing. Or concentrating on hitting them, or do a bit of both, it's kind of make them less effective so that I'm sure I will end, I will last to the end, and kill enough buildings to win. So, choices, choices, choices. So let's speak in a more choosing of actions, right? That's what I should have done. Go for okay. It. If you want, you can just shuffle and choose one. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So. Let's see if I can do something slightly more, slightly more effective this turn. We're currently one building up, and, uh, that's scary. Although, hmm. just the fact that because I'm getting plus two points per building already on, like, still on the board, I don't have to do anything to keep those points. Um, well, if I do, I need to stop him from taking them away from me. Hmm. But, um, but every attack he uh, uses against the building is, of course, an attack not directed at me, which is nice. But, uh, okay. And um, now, Hakuja. 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 Okay. Okay. I have chosen my two actions. Uh, and then uh, let's reveal what we've got. So, uh, Sabre Athena, lightning speed. Where uh, she can, uh, if she activates first, she can activate another Jaeger. So if I activate, I can activate both of my guys. Okay. Uh, let's oh. have another go with this gravity sling. I was just charging it up last turn. I don't like that uh, <laughs> Saber Athena card. Mm. Um, Hakuja is... Uh, Hakuja is deciding basically to, since the building coward. is gone, it's starting to dig. And with the, the intent of disappearing underground to then resurface. We don't, we don't know where. We don't know how. <laughs> And what's Shrikeform up to? Shrikeform, and then is a more direct approach of a furious slam. This this attack, oh, if you hit, <laughs> exactly, if you hit somebody, you can push them back, fling them back a number of axes based on my rage, and I'm just full of rage, I just powered up. Yeah. So the plan there would be to hit <laughs> Gypsy Avenger and slam him, slam him into the back of Saber Athena, where her armor is softer, <laughs> but she doesn't have any skill really to, to protect. So. If that succeeded, that would be splendid. Imagine <laughs> running into one Jaeger, making damaging and making fall against the other Jaeger on the back. That would be beautiful. If on, so if I think on, we're going to try, uh, try and stop that. <laughs> so this is where possibly our uh, our uh, our leader roles could. <laughs> <get>. Yes. <laughs> All right. What have you got? What do we get? Activation roll. Drum roll. I get to activate one. Darn it. Who are you going for? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> the right one. So lined up with gravity sling there. So, so such a perfect suit. So, uh, moment three, you say? Yeah, yeah I think so. you can get him. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <clears throat> Is the camera being completely annihilated you, you by my phone? You can see it on this screen here. Yeah, can you do some lining up while I move the model? So we can save some time. So, I'll remove the building, because it's uh, standing in the way of my tape measure, just for a second. That's the convenient thing because the base remains there. One, two, three. Enough to make contact, so I line up to him. Rotate the head. Slam. Put the building back where I found it. The other way. Back the other way. Good stop. Okay. 
Fierce oh, lamb, melee oh, attack. Geez. This is nice. If if, it, yeah, if I manage to succeed, of course, it will be very spectacular. So, uh, tell me, how many of my skill plus attack? Uh, so you are on three skill and four attack. So seven in total. Seven dice for me. I'm on three skill plus two for my uh, two for my pilots, and then two for. Uh, my armor. Uh, you took them from uh, the ones I, I put there, so sorry, oh, repeat again. So <laughs> Worth a try. Uh, you're on seven. Seven, thank you. Four plus three, seven. seven. I'm also on seven, so this is anybody's game. So it's actually fairly balanced that uh, my attacking mutation is um, accurate. Okay. Yeah. Right. I should not let this happen. Okay. Oh, excitement. <gasps> okay. Oh, well, this thing was roll. Oh, jeez. Uh, so I have rolled that's three, a, four, five. Actually, that's a very good roll for you as well. We are really going hard at this one. I have rolled one, two, oh, three, no. four, five, six results. Oh, no. Six successes out of seven days. <coughs> However, one of them is also an explosive result. That's very successful. I rerolled that. Oh, boo. Yes. <laughs> so I have scored one more than you. Is that correct? You have. So you... Oh, dear. So how does the... Um... <laughs> If you roll one, uh, one more trigger, no, I don't roll triggers. No triggers. Uh, so I was so very you good. You managed to push me back. I was very good at succeeding and winning, but unluckily I didn't get the triggers in, so I needed that special, that trigger to trigger the special ability to trigger the special ability. Uh, okay, so I cannot use the special ability. On the other end, my attacking mutation says. Um, oh, is uh, if you roll two or more triggers? Ah, it's got triggers as well. Damn it. <laughs> Too many successes. I want the triggers. triggers. So I have to, unfortunately, only content myself with picking one of your cards from your hand. So yeah. not your gravity link, which would have been nice. Uh, well, there is a small chance this is going to be my pilots. This is the plasma cannon. Ah, uh, you got my plasma cannon. So I ripped oh, off one of your arms or part of your arm. <laughs> okay. So I deliver this point of damage to you by giving you the card. And I really, if there's any additional effect, uh, yeah. so there is each card has uh, a special damage effect on the uh, on the underside of it. Uh, so you flip the card upside down, have a read of that, and uh, what does it say? Okay, so overload. Roll one combat die per stored charge, which is one. And that actually is you. So roll one dice for each trigger rolled. Take one additional damage. So please roll a trigger. Ooh, no. Okay. I don't uh, explode only, from my plasma. Only one point of damage that was exciting. Could have been far more exciting, I have to say. <laughs> we'll content ourselves with one point of damage. How many of these can you take before uh, the Jaeger is gone? Um, three. So, two to go. Two to go. Okay. Um, okay. Right. And That's now, Fierce turn. Lamb goes away, and yep. your, your turn to roll. Ooh. Ah, no. Mm. Ooh, uh, ooh. Is it the time? <laughs> no, I think I'm happy with you just borrowing away. Uh, okay, and uh, I do so. Sorry. Uh, cost one cage blue. Remove Hakuja from the table. Burrow remains face up in play while Hakuja is off the table. Each time Hakuja is activated, roll two combat dice. If a success is rolled, place Hakuja anywhere on the table and end its activation. So basically, it disappears <laughs> on the ground, <laughs> leaving just some tremors. <laughs> just some tremors. <laughs> Okay, so you better come back quick, yeah. Don't <laughs> leave your friend on his own. Um, so Rafina is going to turn and pick up this uh, this object um, that she was stood on using a tactical action. So objects that are picked up can be used in future attacks, which are pretty devastating. But, um, what is it, big What is it? Uh, is that a helicopter? Uh, yeah, I believe it's a down helicopter. Yeah, I've picked up a helicopter. Nobody's inside. Don't worry. And uh, yeah, I can use that to uh, smash it against a kaiju that tries to pop up like whack-a-mole. And uh, okay. then we have Gravity Slain, which unfortunately you've moved out of range of buildings, so this is just a, just an ordinary attack. Uh, but I use my ammo, and uh, duh, 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 yep. Used an object? There's an object there on the, on the ground. Is it within one hex? It's very lucky. I mean, I should have held the game, of course, but <laughs> you know, it's a friendly <laughs> game, so... You want to show what? Oh, yeah, it is, yes, yes. Okay, yes. yes. That's even better. I don't have to destroy a building. Indeed, this is actually very important because a building you could use, you know, the great thing to grab the building and <laughs> topple it on me, but that's a sacrifice. You're losing points. 
Well, actually, objects, nobody cares, so you can throw a little fire truck at me or something. Okay, but all that's Beautiful. Beautiful. based on us actually doing damage. Um, so I have three skill, plus two for my pilots, and I have two power. So I'm on seven, whereas Strike, strike Thorn is only on six. Got a bit of a... Three skill, three defense, and the uh, defensive ability is the one about race, so yeah. nothing Okay, so. here we go. Oh, it's good. I'm also very good. Um, Spawning oh, tonight. Oh, you might be better than me. Oh, maybe not. So, I've rolled six successes. Six successes because you get to re-roll as well. So I rolled five. However, two of them are. Oh no! Potentially, I need to re-roll two. Explosion. Come on, dice gods. Yes, <laughs> the dice gods have listened to your prayers, obviously. Uh, so I've got six successes, and Alessio has got uh, five. So far, we've only had uh, victories of only sort of one or two, uh, two successes one, yeah. more, which is one damage. Uh, if you do um, four to five, uh, then it's two damage. Uh, no, sorry, four to six, it's two damage. Seven plus, sort of uh, three damage. Um, so I take a damage. To, uh, I take a damage. I take a damage. Uh, I've uh, taken out your death grip. I've oh. ruptured your tendons. No, no additional effects. I wanted to hug you. And the special ability of Gravity Sling is if this attack is successful, which it is, you may destroy an additional object, uh, sorry, an object or building within one hex of your target to deal one additional damage. And as Alessio so kindly pointed out, there is actually one within a hex. So I destroy this object. Can you hit him with the building as well? Pardon? You hit him with the building as well. There's no building within one hex. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. and it's only one as well. I can't stack, drop the entire city on him. And obviously, um, as you said, uh, items are much better than the buildings because they don't cost you anything. Buildings point for me. Yeah. Um, of, uh, or, several or points. Or yeah. yes. um, so, uh, I'll do another damage to you, Mr. Shrike. Does this cost you any... No, it, well, it cost me an ammo to use. An ammo, right, okay, yes. I was thinking this is really powerful, I better, I mean, there, there should be a limit. And there, <laughs> and there is, isn't it? Good. The Good. Game designer, and you've put one of these back upside down, but I'm not going to take that bait. Yes. But, um, so I have. Oh, I've ripped off one of your tails. Not my tails! It's the uh, the melee one. So, severed tail, no additional effects. So. You dropped the helicopter on my tail. This kind of you. Pretty damaged. Two out of three, uh, three structure points taken out. Wow. That's a pretty successful turn. That in was incredibly successful, yes. yes, yes and yes. that is the end of turn number two. Moving on. To turn number three. Mmm, that's <laughs> scary. You've only got one kaiju on this year. Uh, that's true. <laughs> so, each time Hakuja is activated, you roll two dice. If success is rolled, place Hakuja anywhere on the table. So that it in base contact with the, the yeah. back of a, of a Jaeger, for example. <laughs> or a building. But, uh, Why is Hakuja anywhere on the table? Okay. So, raid cannot happen. So, so nothing to plan for Hakuja, which leaves me with Strike Thorn going, Ow! Ow! You ripped off my tail and my, one of my arms? That's not very good. Just finish you off there. There you go. This, uh, that, that moment could have gone so differently if you'd, yes. if you'd <laughs> smashed me into the back. Yes, of the I mean, winning, uh, not only winning, but also rolling uh, triggers there would have made a massive difference because I could have chosen to use them. I needed the triggers for both of the special yes. things that I wanted to do. The accurate attack that would have taken away his attack and smashing him. So triggers there were absolutely vital. Okay. I have chosen my one. Ooh, and place okay. The okay, okay. Obviously, the cards next to the next to the model means it's both the activation. There's an activation marker, and uh, also obviously the the action that you're doing. Two so. jobs. All right. But, um, and uh, reveal. So Hackager is still burrowing. Uh, Gypsy Avenger is going to try and finish off uh, Shrike Thorn with his chain sword, and the Saber Athena is uh, sort of tracking tracking the city skyline uh, with her N16 particle charger, looking for a target. Indeed, and unsurprisingly, I guess if you're if you're a tactician and you, you know how this works, I am trying to fiercely up again because the targets are still lined up. So you know, there's still a chance of going slam them all. Yeah, I really should have just done lightning speed again. So get out of the way. And then hit. Yeah. Well, yes. On the other hand, you have a charging particle. Yeah. So, you know. it's, uh, right. 
Oof. Ooh. All right. So another moment of excitement. Of yeah. Will I slam this Jaeger into the other Jaeger? Yeah, this one is probably worth a uh, leadership if he gets a bank. I definitely have failed to roll that, so I will use my leadership token before I die anyway. Okay. Before, <laughs> before that. Come on, black. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. It's an activation. So... Oh. Right, so how many dice for attack, please? Um, so, obviously, I think it's 7v7. Well, the yeah. reason why I, I keep asking Jack, obviously, I normally would have my, my uh, data sheets here and I could see them, but because of the way we had to lay out the table for you <laughs> to see them, then unfortunately they are all um, on the way over there, so I need to ask Jack to read so them. So you've got seven dice. Thank you. And Gypsy Avenger um, is... Uh, yeah, also on seven. So, um, obviously, my movement consisted of not moving. Okay. Uh, so, I really want to win and roll a trigger. Is it if successful as well? Is it? So if, you roll one, if you roll one or more triggers, you may spend any amount of rage. That's it, it doesn't need to be successful. No, you can do it even if, uh, uh, even if I lose the fight. You do also uh, want to be successful. <laughs> yes, I, I can do it. Oh, one off as well. If I roll three triggers, I can just negate the attack. But uh, it's a Gypsy Avenger. That's a Gypsy Avenger special. Yeah. Um, but I've got three successes. Unfortunately, I say any triggers. Over unfortunately, there. I only have four successes, which means I don't have any triggers, which is sad. On the other end, I will content myself with beating just the enemy and taking a point of damage. All right. Well, how many points of damage can Gypsy Avenger take? Uh, two more. Two more. In, so I can. This one's fine, next one kills me. So, and in there, there is a car that may cause additional damage, or is there uh, not? There's definitely my pilots. That could. Um, <laughs> mm. Basically, Let's one see. of the big weaknesses of Jaegers is the fact that one of their cards is Deep Drift. And if that one's taken out, then uh, you have a chance of your pilots die. If your pilots die, it's game over for the Jaeger. And it will be Deep Drift. <laughs> 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 That's a that was the only one as well. <laughs> the other, none of the others did extra damage. Right, so the damage effect is cockpit damaged. Roll one combat die separately for each pilot. If you roll a success, remove that pilot from the air. So who are the pilots of Gypsy Avengers? We have Nathan Lambert and Ooh. Jake Pentecost. Okay, so who's right. first? Nathan Lambert, come on. Alive. He's alive. Jake Pentecost. Alive. And uh, success is not a trigger. Yes. yes. So they both survive. However, that means, I, I, again, I'll compare myself with the fact that it's you one, lost the ability one of... One more damage and this... One more damage and you lost the ability of deep drifting, which means obviously you cannot activate the, the special the combos, special attacks, and... Uh, oh, I mean, how many special abilities would they unleash on oh, deep drift? Oh, quite a few. So five? five special abilities there. Yes. So, well, um, luckily we don't... Uh, we, we won't get to see those, which is great. Okay. Gordon Hamilton has asked whether or not the cards are standard size for sleeving. Um, they, I believe they're American board game standard. Uh, so 88 by 66, I believe. Wow, that's precise. Uh, and <laughs> sort of throw me the impulse die. I will. So. Furious Lamb is good. Uh, but yes, they're, they're standard size. I think the same size as uh, Magic cards. Other collect card games are available. All right. I'm just going to chop you in half. <laughs> oh, food. Yeah, well, that's what's happening. Uh, I reckon I can do it too. So I've got seven, and then I'm going to spend a charge to activate my chainsword and boost that up to nine. So if you can me two more dice. You uh, have that much charge? Uh, just to find the one charge. charge. Oh, because before you used casual. Yes. Uh, uh, ammo. Ammo, yes, sorry. Casual. <laughs> <laughs> Use some sort of mechanical kaiju oh. Um Like a. A Jaeger that is actually a cat. I wonder who will. Then you are on six. Six. So three for skill, so three for defense. Six. Point out to the players that I'm using my defense value, or if I'm attacking, I'm using the attack value. Skill is used if the attack or defense is within your, your front arc. If you're attacking the rear arc, then you don't get to use your skill. So that's, which is, obviously you don't see it coming, which is why it's very useful to, you know, I would have loved to slam that oh. Jaeger into the back of the that's, other Jaeger, but. Especially against no. things like. Um, uh, Gypsy Avenger, where instead of rolling seven dice, you're rolling two. Yes, indeed. So now I am desperately trying to survive this one because I'm on my last point of damage, correct? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty so sure I can. If I lose this one, I think I'm gonna get it. What? Oh, that's a good start. 
Okay. Three successes three from successes. nine dice. Three successes. Three successes. <laughs> three successes for stay alive. Stay alive. Right, How about then. four successes and two triggers? Now I roll the triggers. Now the triggers. If I roll that just before, if I roll this just before, you would have been into <laughs> say Bertina's back. And so I reckon you've, you've yeah. caught the you've caught the wrist and the sword is right next to your face. But not you this time. Down, but not this time. And it's your turn to roll the impulse die. Okay, so uh, few gigantic few from uh, from Shrike. <laughs> okay, so now um, activation. Where's the impulse sign? Impulse sign, please. There it is. Nope. Over to you. That is actually good. Yeah. Because <laughs> I like him to go. Oh, there's not. Okay, again, Saber Athena has not had a chance here. But, um, she's so just you just pivot as you move, and, and that means scanning. and that means that my my kaiju is not in your front arc, which means that you cannot shoot at it. I mean, if you were in a position where you could see, you draw a line to, to my yeah, to my kaiju, even though it's engaged in combat, you can still fire, because these are really big things, so you can actually just target them in combat. Unfortunately, you're looking the wrong way. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to roll the activation dice, I just activate Hakuja. Uh, each time Hakuja is activated, I roll two combat dice. I just need a success for him to reappear. Please, please reappear right now. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It's an explosive success, as well, <laughs> but I don't need to re-roll it. Um, this now. See, positioning in this game is, is super important. Now, um, I think I have the following choices. Appear in contact with the building. I don't do anything this turn. So next turn I could just go, boom, do some more points. Or appear behind Saber Athena and attack her from the back. I think her armor is not great, is it? No, she, she, skill. Uh, she has uh, three armor. Three armor is not bad. And now what do you see injured then? Two armor. Two armor. So, interestingly, I could do a sandwich of Gypsy Avenger. A Gypsy Avenger on the other end is also on his last point of damage. He is on the last point of damage. So we both are on the last point of damage here. Oh, <laughs> oh this is so close. Oh, I forgot to move out of the way of Furious Slam. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Oh, that's fine. Uh, but also, interesting that you point that out because if I put if I put Hakuja behind Sepertina, then there's no point of you slamming anybody because I was that is, into, that into, is true. into Sepertina. So, what do I want? What's the plan? I think I will do this. I'll appear next to Sepertina in combat here. So basically, I'm okay. appearing from the ground, grabbing the leg of Sepertina. Because I believe that even if I did a, a few slam, yeah, you'd probably hit. You so. would hit Saber Athena and not Hakuja going straight back, which obviously means to me that I have a choice of doing a nasty <laughs> thing because actually your front arc is here, so I'm still in your rear arc. And assuming you go first, there's a lot of uh, things that need to go the right way, of course. Yes, but okay. uh, and this is the end of turn three, so we start rolling. To see if the game ends. The end of turn three. Uh, yeah, I believe so. You might want to double check. Uh, I believe it is a one or four, but let's see because we change it so many. The problem with games design is that we, during playtesting, we change these things like a million times, and you never remember which is the final version that went into the book. <laughs> so let's check. I, I'm pretty sure it's um, at the end of turn three. So, so four. Uh, let's see. Uh, end of game check. At the end of rounds one, two, and three, you do not check oh, for the yeah. end of the game. Yep. Starting at the end of round four, you check for the you end of the game. Start rolling two dice. Oh, uh, each side rolls a die, uh, any success, side, you yeah. need to get four successes, so it's very unlikely to yeah. mention basically only in very, uh, very, run, uh, very uh, unlikely <laughs> circumstances. Right. Okay. Oh, I good. wonder what card I'm choosing for, mm. for a shrine mm. phone. Mm. Who could guess? Well, I can't do the train sword again. What is... Oh, you can definitely do. On dice cards. Okay. There's my actions. I'm sticking by them. Please, because again, I cannot see my, my data sheet is all the way over there. Yeah. What's the, uh, how much rage does Hakuja have currently? Uh, Hakuja has one at the moment, and a maximum of three. Okay. Right, I think I've chosen my ability. That's always my a action. Worrying. And I will go, 
Basically, he's going to do a siege strike, even though you're not a building. Not There's a still a, building. a chance of using my rage for some good reason. Fear. Lightning speed. Lightning speed, it seems appropriate. And Fear Slam, of course, because we are trying to still. That combo will work. And a tactical action. A tactical action from him. Oh, Sebertina is carrying a big she truck is. or something. Oh, dear. She can pivot to get you if she needs to. Yes. yes. But that's all based on you not rolling a success Ooh. or a, a turn. Which is a one in three chance. So, you know, crazier things have happened at sea. Come on, come on, come on. Or come on. One in three, you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's two zeros in there. <laughs> yes. What is that? Uh, oh, no, nothing. Uh, you want to see a bank, and you've used your leadership. Uh, no! Right. Oh, both of them. Right, so you don't particularly need to activate uh, her. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, so. I'm going to be boring with this tactical action, actually. Um, and I'm going to use it to pivot to there. Um, so, basically, that is stopping uh, Alessio from trying to throw me into Saber Athena. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, killing me also would probably stop me. It would, but I don't want, that's a 50 50 chance. Oh, because, because sorry, is... with, with this, you, you cannot then attack. So the first exactly, the move. Yeah. All right. So if you explain exactly how this works. Uh, so basically, um, you can't move forwards in uh, in combat. Uh, the tactical action you can use it for several sort of different abilities. You can pick up objects, you can throw objects, you can sort of complete mission specific stuff. You can also uh, pivot around your enemy. So what there I did was circle around. So because I was facing my enemy, I just simply go one sort of hex left or right around my enemy. Um, so I put myself into a position where. If he tries to furious slam me, I'm not going to go uh, go into my ally, um, which I I think it's safe to say Gypsy Gypsy Avenger is probably on the way out, um, and so it's all about it's all about Saber Athena at the moment. Uh, she's going to turn and battle her up. So turn is your move. Is my move. In your move, you um, pivot. Because when you're in combat, you can still pivot one one click. And uh, then I'm going to hit you with a truck. Uh, Helicopter, even. <laughs> You've got um, a helicopter, poor Hakuja. So that is an extra three dice for the helicopter. Uh, I have three dice from my skill, plus one from my pilots, and then a mighty four dice for being a badass robot. Um, that is a bit scary. That is, that is a lot of five, dice. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice. Eleven dice, that's insane! Hakuja is. This game is rocking, the it? <laughs> Hakuja is a tough nut to crack. Oh, I hit dice. the. I think I hit the closing thing again. Um, um, In my excitement. So, so let's see. Mm, that looks not very exciting. Mediocre. It does mean that the attack is accurate because I've got pinpoint accuracy. No, no. So if I do do damage, I can do damage to the face up card rather than one of the ones in his hand. Oh no, this doesn't look good. So this is four, five, six successes. Six successes and cancels accurate. And so it's accurate. if you were to damage me, you can remove my action effect. If exactly. Turn. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. So, so you have eight. Defense, but you also get triggers. Uh, we'll give you a plus one. It'll be fine. Yeah. So eight, eight, you say? Two, four, six, seven. I need one more, and you. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Come on, how could you stay alive? Stay alive. When you say you have pinpoint point accuracy, is that one of your? Uh, um, that's the upgrade. That that's I the chose. upgrade you chose. That's why. That's a very good upgrade. I agree with your shit. Oh, oh my god! god. Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> I rolled only three successes, no triggers, so my, my extra plating armor. Yeah. There was a very small chance. I was going to say, <laughs> so only three results and no, um, uh, no triggers. So I, I, I don't mean that we have three plays six, which actually, if it stays as it is, I don't just get one point of damage. This is horrible, isn't it? I think <laughs> three is enough for an extra point of damage, uh, if I it remember. It might be four, actually. If I remember, so we'll check. We can check once you've rolled this down. We can uh, verify <laughs> that. However, one of my three successes is a explosive success. So... Get an extra die. I get to roll it again. And of course, if that's also an explosive success, then I can roll it again. <laughs> so it has been done. The stranger holds have happened. So that's my first reroll, and it's nothing. Oh dear, so now we have to check now for additional uh, damage. To find out. <laughs> yes. Well, one of the damage I'm doing is damage. Success damage. differences. One to three is one damage. Okay, so it's so only the, the one damage. At the moment, it is a difference exactly of, of three. three. So I've got six, you've got three. We have a question. Oh, yeah. Uh, from Rafal, 
who says he's super excited to get this game in his hands. Um, however, he will be moving address in the next few months and is wondering if he'll be able to change his address between waves. Um, so between I'm waves. sure that will be possible. If sure. you send us an email at in, uh, sorry, to info at riverhorse.eu, I'm sure that Chris can put that in the comments. Yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah, you can uh, talk to us here, and uh, I'm sure they can sort that out for you. Absolutely. Yeah, basically, get in touch until, you know, get an answer, and so make sure that that is going to happen. Yeah, I'm mad. So, as you sort of rage up to siege strike me, I'm just going to hit with this, uh, <laughs> this helicopter, uh, stunning you. And so, if you take a face-up action card, that kaiju has lost their action for that turn. Um, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Little tear. Tear. Is, uh, <laughs> is pretty badass. Little tear down the cheek of Kaiju. And there's one to... Kaiju left. Yes. One action left. And now, because we have no need to roll for activation, because you're all done, Fear Slam. Fairly less exciting Fear Slam, because I can also land you into Saber Athena, but at the other end, you're on your last <laughs> point, my of last point of health. So, really would like to just kill you. But, uh... So what's the... Okay, uh, so stats? You're, on, you're on seven. <laughs> Thank you. And I am also on seven. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, like the last time before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not looking good for... Oh! Yes it is! Three triggers on Gypsy Avenger means that uh, you do not suffer any damage from the attack. So basically, I defeated you. I got three... Did you not results. get any triggers again? I didn't, no, no. no. There is not feels like, well, in this case it made no difference. But no. So what I did get was three successes against your one success. That would have destroyed Gypsy Avenger because it's on this last, this last leg. Unfortunately, the spawny Gypsy Avenger <laughs> managed to roll three triggers. Oh, yeah. And also, that's in combination with your your modification. You, yeah, you so uh, Gypsy Avenger's upgrade uh, that I've chosen is if you roll three or more triggers while defending, you take no damage from the attack. And surely when you look at it, you go, that's a silly choice, you know, because you're never going to get three. three it always happens at the key moment. You, you, never, you never pick that upgrade. That upgrade is kind of pointless until basically your Jaeger, <laughs> instead of destroying, <laughs> instead of disappearing in a, in a ball of fire, avoids. With the moment of lack, <laughs> avoids the... Also, you know, your, your cockpit is openly, you know, the armor is gone, the oh, pilots yeah. are visible, I can just eat them. <laughs> and, and, and yet, and I was just about to, and yet, <laughs> and yet you avoid my attack. Right. This is so irritating, why would you die? And that is the end of turn four. See, in my head, if that died, I was going to, I have, I have Hakuja engaging Sagarthina, and Strikeson could have shot Coming her in the back with spikes, uh, charged <laughs> her in the back. I was, you know, I had a, a game plan in my head. I was going, she's so dead. Oh no, three triggers. <laughs> if, which you is. Plus mutation, the right, sorry, not, I keep saying mutation because I'm a Jaeger, like Kaiju, but yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, so it's the end of round four. So we do roll. We do have to roll, yeah. Do we need four successes? Yes. So it's almost impossible on the uh, first round. Yeah. In fact, we got none. Um, so... It continues. Uh, play continues on fifth round. And then, basically, at the end of each round, you each roll an extra die until it uh, becomes inevitable. Uh, okay. Choose our... Choose our attacks. Yep. Oh, boy. They call me Fur Boy. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, the banter has gotten... Uh, Slightly strange. On a side note, it is a thousand degrees in this office. <laughs> it's a thousand degrees in this country. But uh, it's it's a problem. <laughs> Don't we solve with air conditioning, but of course, we can't afford air conditioning. Well, and the fans make noise, and apparently that's bad. Um, <laughs> not that I'm bitter or anything. Um, yes, our fans unfortunately are all switched off. I just I just noticed it now. That's why it's so hot in here. Plus the lights, of course, of the filming. <laughs> Let's cut this short before we melt. LED lights, no heat. <laughs> ah. That's all coming from the sun. You're ruining my story. As it gets closer. Made a good story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. No, that's it. Oh no, that's actually very bad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Glad to hear it. There we go. 
But I've, I just realised it's going, I'm going to use my power move. I filled my Jaeger full of cadets, so uh, it's not very powerful. Okay, my attacks. Twin plasma swords! So I'm splitting my sword into two, come at you, maybe make two attacks, and chain sword. Wow, you managed so. to play two cards, both with the word, with the word oh, sword yeah. in it. Let's get, let's get those swords out. It's very swordy. So. Okay. So I've not got extra power on the chain sword, so it's a bit weak, but uh, I, hopefully it'll do. Are you something. simply regretting my choice after seeing it now? I don't know, maybe a good one. Uh, are you going to fire tail spikes? Oh, so your one remaining tail. So what with my one remaining tail? Right is kind of thinking, okay, I could attack I could attack Gypsy Avenger in the front and potentially kill him, but we know that the, the balance is similar, it is very balanced. Mm -hmm. But actually I have a straight line on the on the back of Saber Athena there, so I'm thinking Tail spikes in the back of Saber Athena. Mm, that could be good because she obviously she wouldn't use her defense. Now I shouldn't really announce my plan to the enemy before executing because now he knows <laughs> and he can go, "Ooh, what's he doing?" and maybe try to stop him. So maybe it wasn't clever to tell. Wow. While uh, while uh, Hakuja is going for a tactical action, which probably is going to be an attack, uh, but that gives him some extra defense while he's uh, while he's doing this. So uh, yeah, he's attacking while keeping his guard up effectively. Okay. Right. Dice gods. Dice gods. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no. I got to activate both of my models. Excellent. So actually, I will start with defensive reflexes because if if I get to destroy Sabertina with Akuja, not very likely, <laughs> then uh, I will not need to fire spikes in her back. I can fire spikes straight in the face of uh, Gypsy Avenger. All right, so here we go. It's just, okay, a, just, just a normal yeah, attack. Normal attack. Yep. Um, three, three. And an extra one, please. What do I want? And you are on six. Six. So, so the chances are not, not hugely um, sort of offensive. Very defensive, though. Um, okay. It's pretty good at sort of crawling around the uh, the stage, just eating uh, eating Middle buildings. Oh, Ooh, it's good for me. Yeah, no, I don't think we need to bother. Yeah, okay, <laughs> nothing. You parried my weak attack. I'm afraid. Uh, and therefore, I will shoot. Me, yeah, this, this is slightly scary. Spikes. As this is only a defense three for Saber Athena, fastest than the fleet. <laughs> right, so what's this uh, tail spikes? Let's read it. Cage blue, cost one cage blue, so please take my cage blue down. Anyway, I'm, I'm bleeding, I'm about to die. It's a short range range attack, I am certainly in short range, so yep. no problem. And when attacking, if you roll one or more triggers, this attack is accurate, so yeah, hopefully it's accurate. I'll take away your attack as well, so protecting Hakuja in the process. Okay. So, what do I roll? Uh, uh, so, you're on seven dice against my three. And that is because I'm attacking the rear, so actually I have now a more than double the amount of dice, so what could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> Come on, show me. Two. A two. Does the trigger do anything? Trigger doesn't do anything to me. Okay, now, what I need here is a nice attack. Ooh. Ooh. So we have three successes. A was it one or more trigger for accurate or two? Uh, technically, if you roll one or one. more triggers, this is accurate. It's accurate. Also, I don't know he, he doesn't have the strength. Is the other one? Yep. So it's an accurate, a success. So I already done it. But two of them are explosive successes. So, so there is a chance. So there is a chance of doing even more damage. Let's see. No. Uh, no. No. So it's one point of damage, and more important, is an accurate point of damage. Yes. So you so can take this. I could take the twin plasma swords, which means we'll make basically say I think I will lose our, uh, one or two of their arms. Or and, try and uh, grab deep drift. <laughs> I could try to grab that to do more damage, but actually the fact that you are just about to attack uh, Hakuja means if I take that as well as damaging you, I'm uh, actually stopping you from attacking Hakuja. So okay. that looks like a double win to me. You've disarmed me. So she was just about just to stab Rakuja when her arm get completely hit with strike torn spikes <laughs> and lost the ability of doing it. A very cinematic episode. Leaving only Gypsy Avenger. No! Come on, let's, Come on. let's avenge! Defend. Defend. Uh, three skill, two power, two extra from the pilots, seven dice against your six. Okay. Slight advantage. It's a bad roll. <laughs> I live. It does not. <laughs> I live. I have Rats. a nice amount of successes. Okay. Uh, and that is the end of turn five. So we each roll two dice. So I'm really hoping for the end of the game here because there's a lot of buildings on the board and nobody's died. So I'm pretty sure I've got the points advantage at the moment. But, um, that could all change. If, uh, oh, that's an exploding die. Uh, so I've got one from me. And you roll two, uh, two dice to see if the game ends. 
you need three successes on those two dice. That's two. So uh, the game does not end this round. And we go on to round six. Okay. But, uh, okay. Oh, I sort of just need to survive, really. So, hmm. I didn't get to turn the Saber Athena as well, so you can just do that again, and you will, because you're mean. And I can't use my Twin Plasma Sword again. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Got a plan. Dastardly plan. Okay. And let's do... I'll do that. Okay, uh, so, Saber Athena is going to fire her N16 Particle Charger. Then, uh, Gypsy Avenger is going to strike with the Chainsaw once more. I will repeat exactly what I did last time. So, fire some more spikes into her back while he's attacking defend, you in cross-combat. Okay, Absolutely. do you want to roll another two? Ah, oh, come on, come on. One activation. Dave Spikes it is. Yeah. So, uh, so, how many? Athena. No. How many? So you're on seven, and I'm on three. Sorry, I have a very important text message that arrived at the wrongest possible time. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> Technical difficulties, yes. So, yeah. against, sorry, seven was it? Yep. Seven. And three, six, seven. I have got no successes on my defense. I got three. Explosive <laughs> results. Oh no. And. So, unfortunately, no triggers. I doesn't matter. But you've done five versus my zero, which means <gasps> doing two damage. I've already taken one. Saber Athena is dead. Well, let's see if you kill the pilots as well. Right, so I have a power surge. Because also, its some results may cause damage to an attacking model in base Yeah, so that's true. Let's do that. And lightning speed. Any of these actually cause any effect on the models in combat? No, I drop them. I drop any object I'm holding, and I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Getting okay, shot was... in the back is really bad. Yes, spikes in the back. Well done, Shrek. I mean, this was a sacrifice. I mean, Shrek are now... He could have attacked Gypsy Avengers to try to save his own life, but no, actually went for Saber Athena to help his friend. And see now whether he pays with his life. Oh, oh, come on. Not a blank. Not a blank. All right. Um, oh, I think you can actually get to me with uh, Hakuja as well there, though. Um, which is quite scary, actually. Um, oh, well. Uh, I'll be strong. Uh, I'm just going to strike you in the face. So that's seven versus six. You're on six. Right, I need to survive this one, and then um, the Major will be in trouble. Okay, this is strong. This is powerful. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. Ooh, it's not bad either. Uh, I'm on five. You're on five. I am on four, unfortunately with no re-rolls, and two triggers, which unfortunately, because this is not Hakuja, right? Nope. Yes, yes uh, you had deafening roar. Because I was, tri uh, you know, before the game I was thinking, well, should I put the extra armor of the one that gives the more success in defense on the tougher one or on the less tough one? Basically, balance them out a bit or go for the really tough one. And I chose to put the, the armor on the armor one. Otherwise, I would have saved if I did the other choice, the, other, the opposite choice, he would still be alive. Uh, less regrets, more be chopping your head off. I'm afraid so. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Let's see uh, if I. I, I, don't I is there a result that I could damage you? We'll, we'll find out. Definitely is in packages. But, uh, uh, you lose one rage as you die, so at least you die, <laughs> you die calm. As I just <laughs> I put, I put you out of your misery. Press this frag turn as it collapses. <laughs> However, this is not going to be. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, then it's Akuja activation, which cannot. Well, I mean, that's I an attack. I could, if I can get, if I can get in base con, actually. Ooh, ooh, now we're yeah. because I get to move first. So, where is the? Oh, okay, here we go. That's it's become kind of animated now. This is actually oh. exciting. I thought Akuja had no target, but no. Watch this. So, because it's a kaiju, it can pivot before moving. Yeah. So I will put that there. Click in one space that way. And what's the speed of Akuja? Uh, Hector is only two. Oh, uh, maybe too slow. One oh, step. Thank. Two steps. I needed an extra step. Thank you, Hex God. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up 
less than, I don't know, a quarter of an X away from, from the enemy. If I managed a, another step, if I, could, I was a little closer, I would have got in touch and attacked him with my defensive reflexes, the tactical action. Okay. So close. So However, now, that's the end of turn six. Let us roll three dice each. Which means that if the game ends, it's probably going to be, I would guess, no, well, it's obviously, I think it's, it's, a Jaeger, it's a Jaeger victor. Because you've gone for the Jaegers. And, uh, oh, two. I've done my part. I've got two. Two. So I really don't want to get two results here. Oh, one. One more turn. Yes, yes one more turn. <laughs> so I have you a decent chance. Of I have a turn to out. do one point of damage of Gypsy, then the Gypsy Avenger. If I can take him out, I win. If he survives at the end of this turn, he'll probably win on points. So, ah. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. I have a plan. Mm. Like most plans, it does uh, somewhat. So realize you're getting to go first. Yeah. <laughs> right. Here we go. Tactical action again. And the reflectors, uh, and I'm going to try and run away. <laughs> Away? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> How do you achieve that? Uh, maybe. I will see. We'll see if you I'll have give you a space clue. to run away. Beep! Beep! <laughs> oh, Beep. reversing <laughs> away, I see. That may not save you. We'll see. Okay, so um, let's see who goes first. Yeah. Because we're getting, we have the same number of cages, so I so, roll again. Same number of bowlers, same number of cages. I roll again. No! Oh. No, 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 Please, 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 please. No. Oh. Okay, I've actually realised I can't take the run action because I started on there. Uh... Oh, that's good news. Yes, mm. indeed you can't. Oh, come on, you know you want to attack me. Oh, with the power push. You can Which I can't because I've chosen run. Uh, I've chosen yeah. very to poorly me. here. Shoulder barge. I can't, can't run because I've. Uh, can't run. Well, I'm, on, I'm on the water. Water is difficult terrain. Can't for run. For both, for both sides, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, terrain. So you're facing that way. Mm -hmm. And you're facing this way. I was yeah. I was misled thinking you're facing that way. No, you're facing that way. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's the direction the uh, the weapon is pointing. Yep. And his face. Yes, yes, yes. Face. Well, head. Uh, okay. Do you guys have face? Yeah, I reckon that's. I right. reckon that's a face. Mm -hmm. um, you realise that will not save you from Apuja. No, no, it won't. But I'll I'll die with full charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die full of charge! So maybe you blow up and kill me as well yes, in, 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 in the process. Oh, we, what we need to go. do is. You want to rotate it. Oh. Uh, overall score, Jack, to less than zero. In fact. They, they can't see that. Alright, okay, good. Referee, <laughs> referee, that's not actual. actual. Okay, so uh, now we. We do our activation, yeah. which is again nope. as a kaiju. Yeah. As a kaiju, oh, has the great ability of moving. I mean, it seems like a very little difference, you know, being able to move before or after. Yeah. So you peel before or after you move, and that's a massive Such difference. A change. Because I mean, yeah, because there are machines you have to line up your next move. I'm thinking, I'm going there, and I'm turning towards the, the way where I'm going to move in the next turn. So you have to think one turn ahead. Why actually the kaijus are more reactive? They're creatures that are organic, so they can turn much faster and move, well, obviously, relatively to creatures of this size. So that's the difference between being organic and being, and being a, a, a machine. All right. So in right. theory, I do have the upper hand here, I think. Okay, so yeah, I mean, he's not a great attacky guy. He's very flexible, he does things very tough, and he's, got, he's very good at taking down buildings. He's not the best at taking down Jaegers, yes, it has to be said. So one pivot, and then he's lead two steps into this side of you. Slam all. To the side of me. <laughs> So there was it, just and then um, I have a task action that uh, I get my exile. Yeah. So it's just a normal, just a regular attack, basically. Okay, no so problems. you are on six. I am on seven. But I do have my extra treasure strength. Oh, and you have treasure strength. Yeah. Yeah. So Come triggers on. are also good. Three triggers. Two triggers. Oh, you beat. Okay. I think a trigger is the only way. So if this roll is a trigger, you will use your special ability of dodge. Damn no. it. You got four results. Four. Four. And to buy five. five results. Oh wait, no, it's not five. Uh, let me just uh, be. That's the uh, reroll that one. It's actually six. <laughs> six results. <laughs> All right. How do you that's, take me out? That's the, What's the finishing one. move. The finishing move is. 
interesting. <laughs> I'll just rip your arms off. Uh, or your remaining arm off. Because <laughs> one is already taken out, isn't it? So yeah. I'll take the other arm, <laughs> beat you beat you to death with your arm, with your own arm, which seems like mm -hmm. a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and the ledger goes down. <laughs> Shall we roll the four dice just to see if the turn would have, would have ended? ended. <laughs> okay. So at the end of this turn, we would have rolled four dice. I got three. I got one. You got one. So yeah, it would have ended. It would have ended. Would have ended. Would have the would have won. That would have been a win for me. Yeah, because I didn't take enough now buildings. Because as often happens, one gets a bit carried away with killing the enemy as that's, opposed to. Uh, that's thing. another game where it's ended in the last roll of the last <laughs> turn. That's true. This time, however, I think I won as well. Yeah. But uh, again, in, in games with more units, more more models, it's somewhat easier to have a maybe you know three out of four of your models concentrating on the enemy while the fourth model is taking out the buildings. In smaller games, obviously, when you have fewer models, it feels like. You know, having one fifty percent of your force fighting at a two to one odds while you're taking out buildings, yeah. So it's quite natural to concentrate yeah. on killing the enemy in a so, small game. So that is one all currently in our <laughs> so <it is laughs> in our live stream battles. But, um, let's see if we can uh, remedy that. Apogee okay. remains Victor and goes victorious and goes on top of the city and stomps on the little humans and keeps Oh man, Saber Athena just getting <laughs> absolutely destroyed by those tail spikes. Full of spikes in the back. Yeah. That was good. That was very good. Cool. Um, Thank you very much for watching, guys. And we're going to go much. and uh, go into a fresher. Yeah, <laughs> spike some ice cream. Or beer. Thank you very much. See you later. All right. Bye, guys.